Hey guys, how's it going? This is Jay once again. Welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of installing Manjaro, the XFCE edition, on your computer. So let's go ahead and get started. So here on the Manjaro website, which is basically the URL manjaro.org slash download, we can go ahead and download this release. Now if we scroll down, we have our flagship editions, and I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And the first option is the XFCE edition, which I'm going to go ahead and install in this video. And what that will do is give you an ISO image. You'll download that ISO image, which is actually pretty sizable. It might take some time to download depending on your connection. And then what you're going to want to do is create a bootable flash drive. So if you have an extra flash drive laying around that you're not using, that you don't care if it gets wiped out, you could basically convert it into a bootable media that you can use to install Manjaro. Now I've actually already gone ahead and set up my bootable flash drive. It's plugged in right here in this laptop. This is the machine that I'm going to go ahead and install Manjaro onto. I do have a video on my channel that outlines the process of creating a bootable flash drive for basically installing any Linux distro. We use the same tool, it's called Etcher, so check out that video if you'd like a walkthrough on that process. But what I'm gonna do right now is go ahead and reboot my computer and go ahead and install Manjaro. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and reboot. And I already know that this second item right here is my flash drive, so I'll select that and press enter. So here's the first screen that you'll see when you boot from your Manjaro installation media. I'm going to leave these options as default, but if you need to change, for example, your keyboard layout or your language, you can easily do that by selecting the option, and then you press enter, and then you get other options you can use instead. And escape will take you back to the main menu. Now one thing that you might want to pay attention to is where it says driver equals free. You might want to consider changing that. I'll press enter. Now you can choose free or non-free. If you are not a gamer, free is probably fine. You can leave the default. But if you have an NVIDIA card or you intend on playing games, you might want to enable non-free. And you also may need to enable non-free if you have non-standard network hardware. It's up to you. I would just try free at first, unless you're a gamer. If you're a gamer, go right to non-free. Otherwise, stick to free. If you have other pieces of hardware on your machine that might need the non-free driver, you can go ahead and change that after the fact. I'll just hit escape, go back to the main menu here. So to go ahead and get started, I'm gonna go down here to where it says boot, and then I'll press enter. Okay, so here I am on the main desktop of Manjaro. We haven't actually installed it yet. It's running in live mode, which gives us an opportunity to demo this distribution before we actually install it. We just basically want to make sure that it works with our hardware before we wipe out our existing operating system. I've already done it, but right here we have a Wi-Fi icon. You're definitely gonna to wanna to click on that and connect to your wireless network, basically to make sure that works. And I'm not actually at home, so I don't wanna show the list of wireless networks there. Probably not an issue, but anyway, um, that icon on there on the bottom is where you would go for that. And then when you, of course, start up, you see this welcome screen right here, which gives you some you know links to forums, the chat room, mailing lists, things like that. And then we have launch installer here at the bottom, which is what I'm going to click on to go ahead and get the installation process started. And it goes without saying, but I am gonna wipe out the entire hard drive. So I'm assuming you've already backed up your computer if there's anything on your drive you want to keep. I'll click next to select my default of American English. And it's defaulted to Detroit as my location. That's close enough, I guess. That is the right time zone. So if you need to change that, you can click somewhere on the map, or you can actually use the drop downs to manually select your location, which will select your um, locale, time zone, things like that. So I'll click Next. And here we can select our keyboard layout. It's defaulting, in my case, to, to English US. If you have a different keyboard, for a different language or character set, you can select that and then you can actually type here in the box to make sure your keyboard is actually working. I'll click next. And now we actually have some options. I already have a Linux distro on this hard drive. I was trying out the KDE Neon User Edition and I want to wipe that out. So in my case, I'm going to choose Erase Disk. 
which is going to completely erase everything and I'm going to end up with only Manjaro on my computer and that's exactly what I want. So you can actually choose if you want swap or not. That's up to you. That basically takes place of RAM if your machine is low on RAM. Maybe that might be something you might want to do. There's other options here I'm not going to get into. You can install alongside your current operating system, replace a partition. You can also encrypt your drive as well if you're concerned about privacy. But I'm going to go ahead and click Next. So I'll type in my name. And then I'll just call my machine Lemur because that's the model of computer it is. It really doesn't matter. Put in a password here. Make sure you remember this. You can choose to log in automatically if you'd like to. I'm not going to do that. I am going to choose use same password for the administrator account. Um, that's up to you. That just basically, as I understand it, gives you sudo access, which is a way of executing commands that would otherwise be limited to just root, root being the Linux equivalent of the administrator user. I'll click Next. And what it's going to do now is give me an overview of all the options that I've selected. So I should take a moment to make sure that everything here looks correct. Everything does look correct to me. You also want to make sure that it's wiping the correct hard drive if you have more than one. In my case, that's the only hard drive I have here. So I'll go ahead and click Install. Install now. And it's going to go ahead and install Manjaro on my machine. All right, so the installation is done. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and reboot. So I will check the box that says Restart Now. I'll click Done. All right, here we go. All right, and here we are at the login screen. So I'll go ahead and put in the same password that I used when I installed it. Press Enter. And as you can see, the installation is a success. We've installed Manjaro on this machine, and rebooted the machine and now we're here at the default desktop so as you can see this release has been successfully installed so there you go it's actually a pretty easy straightforward installation process definitely no surprises here but if, in case you're curious what the process looked like for installing Manjaro well now you know so hopefully that was helpful for you guys Go ahead and check out the other videos on my channel, and I also have a review for Manjaro coming very soon if it's not already available, so go ahead and check that out. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you want to help me out, go ahead and check out the links in the description below, and there you'll find a link to purchase my latest book, Mastering Ubuntu Server, 2nd Edition. You'll also find a link to my Patreon page, as well as my Amazon store, which includes a listing of Linux-compatible hardware that I've tested personally. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.